What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the face at a front view, a profile view, and a three quarter view. So all together we'll be drawing the same face but the point of view of each one will be different and I'll explain how on the way. But for now let's get started. Alright so the first face that we're going to draw is at a front view. So when we're drawing a front view at a face we're basically looking someone dead in their eye. I just like to start out with a basic circle. I know my circle may be a little bit off, but we gotta start with a circle. Then we're gonna need to split that circle in half because when we're looking at a front view of the face, it's gotta be symmetrical. It's gotta be the same on both sides. So I'm gonna take my ruler here and I'm gonna just draw a line down the middle. And that's gonna be our center line. So we wanna keep that in there. So now we're gonna need to make another center line, one for the eyes and ears to rest on. So we have a halfway point of the circle here. We're gonna have to draw a center line that goes like a that goes about three quarters towards the bottom. So right here I mark where the halfway point is. Now we're gonna mark like a three quarters of the way down. I'm gonna draw a line for that. So there may be a point in time where we may need to alter the shape of this line. We may need to distort it down or up. But to keep it simple, for now, we're just gonna draw a straight line for it. And if we really do need to distort the line, then we'll do it when the time comes. But for now, we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so we got a point here, and we got a point here. We're gonna use those two points to help us draw the face shape. So I'm gonna come off of the head here, and I'm just gonna construct like a line that goes outward, and then back inward and then it's gonna touch this line here our center line and then we can have it coming down a bit and then again making it symmetrical so we're gonna do pretty much the same thing but in reverse Okay, and now we got our head shape. Now we can place the ears. So right here where I said the line is gonna be where we place the ears, we're just gonna draw simple ears. They're gonna be sort of egg shaped, but they're still ears. Something super easy, super simple to draw. And then down here, I'm just gonna quickly sketch in the neck. Okay, and then when you're drawing the face, there may be a point in time where you need to adjust something. Like for now I need to adjust the face shape because I'm not liking the way it looks. So I'm just gonna just come inwards just a tiny bit and now like I said with this line we may need to distort it. So I'm, I'm gonna keep that line there but I'm gonna make another line that kinda does something like this. Just kinda bending it downwards but also keeping it symmetrical. This is the line that I'm going to use to place the eyes. I'm not going to use this straight one, but this line that comes down like this. The way I like to draw my eyes, I like to make it a semicircle shape. Something, that's, something that looks like a top bun on a burger. Okay, and then we can draw in the nose, which we can draw two lines, like so. And like two like letter C shapes, and then like a letter U shape for the nose. You know, nothing too big, nothing too complicated, just a nose. Like a little pencil stroke for a mouth or the way I just did it, several. <laughs> and now I'm gonna come back up to the eyes. Now I really should have did this when I was drawing the eyes, but I'm gonna begin to actually draw the irises and the pupils, you know, the main part of the eyes. I'm just gonna draw in the irises and just color them in. Let's see if I can go darker for the pupils. All we got left to do is come back up 
and draw the eyebrows if necessary and then and then work with any hairstyle you want so the way I, so let's start off with the eyebrows first so the way I like to draw the eyebrows is I like to have them kind of matching the same arc shape as the eyes so you see how the eyes kind of make this shape like so the eyebrows will kind of be similar to that shape And then now once you get to the top of the head, you can play around with any hairstyle you want. So I'm just going to toss in any hairstyle here. Add some more accessories, and there we're pretty much done. But I am gonna finalize it so you guys can get a better look at it. All right, and that's how you draw a face at a front view. Keep in mind that we did do some adjusting to the face, so we didn't exactly rely on all the guidelines that we did at first. So we had to change up a few things or whatever to get the results that we were hoping for. So just keep that in mind when you're doing stuff like this. But with that being said, let's move on. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the face at a three quarter view, which means we'll be seeing more of one side of the face compared to the other. So again, we'll be starting out with a circle. And again, it's not gonna be perfect. I know it's not. So right here, we're gonna start up at the top here and begin to make a center line that goes either this way or that way. So let's make it go that way. So we're gonna draw a line that does something like this. And then just like we did when we were up here, we drew another center line that goes across the circle like this about three quarters of the way down. So we're gonna just kind of estimate where that line can be placed. Like this looks about three quarters. So we can place a line that looks just like that. So now we got our basic guidelines in place. Now we can actually get started. Next part that we're gonna do is draw the face shape. So starting from over here in this corner, we're gonna begin to draw the face shape. So it's gonna come outwards like so. And we're gonna come back inwards so it touches this center line and then right here at the stopping point we're going to start up here and we're going to come back up i'm going to come up towards this other center line that we drew and we're going to stop right before then okay and then somewhere along this line we can begin to draw the ear So the, the way I draw an ear is pretty different. It's a little like an egg shape almost, or like a oddly shaped letter C. But you can start it from on this line and curve up then back down or vice versa. Okay, okay, and now we can place the neck. So the way I like to place the neck is I like to come off of this circle here, off our basic guideline for a circle. And there's like an invisible curve. The reason I say it's invisible is because it's behind the ear. So we're gonna come off of here and we're gonna curve like so. And do something like that. And that's how I usually draw the neck on a three quarter view. And I'm just gonna quickly sketch in the shirt. And I'm just gonna sketch in the ear as well. And as you guys can notice, we're seeing more of this side compared to the other. So whatever we draw on this side of the face, we're only going to see just a little bit of on this side. So just keep that in mind because this is a three quarter view. So now we can begin to draw the eyes. So the way I, so again, the way I draw my eyes are like the top bun on a hamburger. And 
and then the irises and the pupils can be in like any direction but that's up to preference you don't necessarily have to do exactly what I'm doing but it's just something to throw in right here where our two center lines intersect that's where we're gonna begin to draw the nose of course you can think about it as it's coming off of the eye like say here's the curve of the eye or the eyelid and then it touches an intersection between the two center lines that we drew in the beginning and that's where the nose will begin. So when we start to draw the nose, it'll kind of match this curve that's right here. So we got a curve like so. Come back inward and then a couple small lines for the nostrils. And there we go. And then the mouth is just like a simple pencil stroke right below the nose. It's like something similar to this mouth, but very very small and now we can come back up to the eyebrows and it's good and it's gonna match a portion of the eye shape so you see that arc in the eyes that's what the eyebrows are gonna kind of mimic so you see how that was being drawn that's how I draw my eyebrows or eyebrows on any character but of course they don't always have to be like this because there will be a time when I'm drawing a face expression and the eyebrows won't exactly look like this so they'll be you know a different shape different position whatever but we'll just keep it like that for now. And then all we have left to do is to draw in a hairstyle. So I'm gonna do that, finalize the sketch, and then come back to you guys. All right, and that's how you draw a face at a three quarter view. Now let's move on. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the face at a profile view. So imagine looking at the face at a front view, and then imagine them turning their head at a 90 degree angle. So that's what a profile view would look like, or some people may call it a side view. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to draw. So like usual, we're gonna start off with a circle. I know it's not perfect, but it's still a circle. Okay, and now we're gonna split this circle in half. So I'm gonna take my ruler, and just draw a line down the middle, okay? And then like we did with our front view of a face, we're gonna draw a line across that's about three quarters of the way down. So let's assume this is the halfway point and draw another center line. That way we know that they intersect somewhere, which will help us draw the ear later on. Okay, so from the top here, we're gonna come down. Well, it's pretty much already drawn for us, but follow the direction of my pencil. We're gonna start off from the halfway point and begin to make a curve, but it's pretty hard to explain, so just follow what I'm doing here. And then we're gonna make a line that does this. And then we're gonna make that same curve, but much larger, but large enough so that it connects this end point to this part where these two lines intersect. So you can start from either or, just as long as they, you know, as long as they do that. And then right up here where this line intersects, like I said earlier, that's the part where we're gonna start to draw the ear. So we're gonna start to draw the ear. It makes the curve just like this. And then it is gonna take away some of this line that we drew here and that's okay. So we're just gonna erase just a small portion of it. And just sketch in the parts of the ear like so. And we got half the step already done. Now we're gonna construct the neck. So let's say from here to here, the halfway point from here is where we're gonna start to draw the neck and we're gonna make it straight. But it's also gonna have like a slight curve to it because it's a neck, it's not gonna exactly be straight. So let's say the halfway point would be right about here. And we're gonna make that straight. And then somewhere along here, you can draw the other part of the neck. But you can also adjust it, like I just now realized that's the two out. So you can come back in just a little bit. And you can also make it be a little bit smaller. So, so the neck that I drew is kind of sh too straight for me. So sometimes what you can do is 
make them come inward but yeah stuff like that is optional to you guys if you want to keep it straight then that's okay but you know there's always an opportunity for you to adjust things like that but i just did that as an example so but now let's keep going so we got pretty much all our guidelines in place all we got left to do now is to place the facial features which are the eyes nose mouth and the eyebrows at the hairstyle all that stuff so let's start off drawing the nose since that's what we pretty much see in this like in this like little angle here so it looks like the nose will be super pointy but it really won't so once we come off of this curve here and make a point we're gonna come off of this point and we're gonna construct the nose we can make it curvy or we can keep it pointy but you know that's up to you as well and then however you draw the nose Wherever you stop at when you draw the nose, we're going to connect it back down to the jaw here. So we just provided a, like, a slight adjustment to it. And then I'm just going to draw the mouth right underneath it. And then, and then I made the mouth kind of match the same shape of the curve. You can do that. It's up to you. I'm just going to draw in a slight nostril here. And then also this line here, it doesn't necessarily have to be straight. So you can make that into a curve that looks something like this. And now right here off the ear, we can begin to erase that line here that connects this point to here. Because we got the neck to do that. Or you can leave it how it was, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and now we can begin to draw the eyes. But since the profile view, we're only going to see one eye. So on this center line here, that's where the eye is going to sit because the ear is sitting on this line as well. So instead of drawing a normal semicircle shaped eye, like a top bun of a hamburger type shape for an eye, we're going to draw pretty much half of that. In other words, we'll be drawing a quarter of a circle and that's just the guideline. So this is a quarter of a circle we'll also be altering the shape because also we got to consider the anatomy of an eye it's because an eye is shaped like a ball it's not really straight in any way so I'm going to change this front shape so that it looks kind of curvy and then the eyelids not really much to change up there but now we can draw in the irises and the pupils and now we're working back up towards the eyebrows. The eyebrows I really don't change when it comes to drawing things at a profile view. So the way I normally draw eyebrows on like either a front view or a three quarter view, I just keep it the same when I'm drawing a profile. I just keep it like so. All right, and that's pretty much it. All that's left to do now is to add in a hairstyle. So I'm gonna do that, finalize the sketch and finish the video. Alright, and that's how you draw a face at a profile view. Alright, and here's an overview of all the faces that I drew in this video. We started off drawing a face at a front view so you can get a feel of symmetry. Then we viewed the face at a slightly different angle and began to draw it at a three quarter view. And then we saw big differences when we drew it at a profile view. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.